make this too long because you always got to keep your eye on the Iran situation because that's a uh, another prophecy that we're waiting to come to pass and you've had a lot of the Kurdish military uh, this story is posted on June 25th yeah, yesterday and it says Iran forces clash with suspected Kurdish militants Iran's powerful Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC says security forces clash with suspected Kurdish militants in the country's northwest, leaving at least five in insurgents dead. A statement on the IRGC official website on June 25th said five terrorists, including two leaders, were killed in the fight in the West Azerbaijan province near Iraq border. The statements added that a close uh, a chase operation to destroy other terrorists is underway. It said no Iranian forces were wounded in the clash in the uh, Mahabad area on June 24th and that they uh, confiscated, lar confiscated large amounts of weapons and ammunition. On June 16th, Iran's Revolutionary Guard battled armed members of uh, surging Kurdish groups in western Azerbaijan province IRGC said it killed 12 insurgents while three of its members died Iran faces threats from several militant groups ranging from Sunni Arabs in its southern oil rich region Kurdish in the northwest and Bal Balak separatists on its uh, eastern border with Pakistan and Afghanistan and I wanted to show you that those Kurdish militants they're backed man the United States backed. It's another proxy war just like they're doing in Syria. Alright. So I just wanted to bring this quick article out. And this is from it's from uh, Mish Talk. And it says Mish Talk Global Economic Trend Analyst. And I'm just gonna scroll down here. It says elite US military forces have been photographed for the first time in Syria as they joined large Kurdish forces on an advance towards Rapa, or Raqqa, the Islam Islamic State terrorist group's capital. The photograph was Agent France Prissy captured U.S. Special Operation Forces with Kurdish forces known as the YPG, part of the U.S. Um, monitored Syrian domestic forces in a rural village less than 40 miles from Raqqa. Some use troops wear an insignia of the YPG in an apparent show of support. See? It says Peter Cook, the Pentagon press secretary, resisted commenting on the photograph and would only describe the U.S. Special Operations Forces mission in generic terms. So that's showing you, man, the U.S. is backing those Kurds, man. All right, they're backing those Kurds, so it ain't something. Oh, oh, they're just randomly going in there. The situation with Iran—that's just another proxy war for them to go up in there, just like they're doing in Syria now. It's uh, what is it? Order out of chaos. You you give the problem and then you come up with the solution, man. Um, and this is just a quick story, uh, just to add on, just a, a minor story. Because uh, you, you, this is to the black woman is God. <laughs> and it, really, man, hey, this nigga woman, is, she's done, man. And it says, Texas mother fatally shoots two daughters. Police kill her. This happened on yesterday. It says, uh, Fluster, uh, Flushier, Texas. Police say, say in Houston area, woman fatally shot her two daughters before officers shot and killed her. The incident happened about 5 p.m. Friday in front of a home just outside Houston suburbs in Flusher, Flusher, Slocky if I'm butchering that. It says the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office identified the mother as 20 uh, as 42 year old Kristen Sheets and the daughters as 22 year old Taylor Sheets and 17 year old Madison Sheets. Uh, Sheriff Troy Nehouse uh, says the shooting apparently climaxed a family argument but the reason for the argument remains unclear. All right, but the the nigga woman came out and they shot her in the head, man. All right. Um, let me get into these um, quick scriptures and I'm end out. 
Uh, this is the book of Isaiah 47 in verse 1. This is Isaiah 47 in verse 1. Isaiah 47 and 1, it says, Come, sit down. It says, Come, sit. Uh, it says, Come and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstone and grind mill, uncover the locks, make her bare the leg and uncover the thighs, pass over the river. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen, and I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. Because that's what's getting ready to come to Babylon the Great, man. The Most High is, is, is making her bare first, stripping her naked, and then he's going to come and deal with her, man. Alright, and this is, uh, let's jump to Romans. Because now it's just, just to support, or to give hope to you brothers, man, and show, look, man, we're almost home. That's why we got to keep pushing and stay humble. And, and, and pray to Yah Bashim Yah shall he come quickly. And this is Romans 13 and 11. And it says, and, and that knowing the time, that it now is high time to, to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believed. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. That's why it tells us, let your light shine before men. And it says, let us walk honestly as in the day, not in the roaring and drunkenness, nor not in the chambering and wantonness, not in stiff or strife and envy. That's it on that. Uh, let me jump to Mark. This is the book of Mark 13 and 36. This is Mark 13 and verse 36. And it says, let let's come uh, 35. Watch ye therefore, ye know not when the master of the house cometh, at evening, or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping, and what I say to you, I say unto all, watch. That's why the, the, the elders have, have, have put that spirit on us to, to go into these things, and to watch, man, and to keep our eyes open. It says, uh, this is the book, this is the last verse, this is 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 11. It's 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 11. And it says, now all these things happened unto them for examples. And they, it says, and they are written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come. Wherefore, let him that thinketh he steadfast, or it's like it. Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. There, uh, there has no temptation. To, uh, that's it on that. So you got to, hey man, we got to stand in this thing and, and keep faith. All right. So with that, I'm gonna give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Brachet to Yahweh, Brachet to Yahushai, and much love to you, elect man on the four corners of planet Earth that the Most High is bringing in and sealing, man. All right. We're at the time of the end. Keep faith. Shalom.